You're watching BTP Sports Talk Live, sideline on the sideline. This is Richard Walker, the great sports Morpheus. And folks, I am here with a man who represents a, a significant piece of Houston football history. Coach, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. For, for those of you who, 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 who are Oilers fans, get your phones out now and, uh, and, 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 and follow along with us. What he's really saying to you fans is he's not old enough to know how old I am because when I coached with the Oilers back in uh, 1973 to 1983, love you blue days, lots of things. Money was a little bit different in those yes. days, uh, but the uh, league is great. Nice to be out here today and uh, 37 years of coaching at all levels, high school, college, and pros and even an indoor team. I've had a great life. And coach, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point to one piece of hardware that you're wearing. Uh, folks, he is wearing this is his uh this is his national football alumni ring okay now it, coach i'm a i'm a cowboys fan okay i've been a cowboys fan since i was, since I was a kid that's all right i tried to recruit roger stallbach out of high school to college and then almost had him convinced to come here but <laughs> but they wouldn't allow him from court this is a ring that the basically the 1968 jet super bowl ring is a replica of that type thing each year the team wins the owner wants to make it bigger next year bigger bigger so now they're so big that the players really really can't can't wear them but uh, it's a nice ring got my name on it and of course you know like i said i had 15 years in the nfl lots of fun enjoyed life and still enjoyed life right well coach i want to ask you some questions uh, specifically to today's nfl okay we're seeing uh you know at least from an offensive perspective we're seeing a, a, a vast evolution of the game it seems to be that you know the running back position is seen to be downplayed. Fullback position is basically been uh, is, is obsolete. We're going to these four or five wide sets, these spread offenses, these up tempo offenses, running 80, 90 plays a game. You know, tell me the difference that you've observed between the game back then when you were coaching and uh, and now. Well, there's a huge difference. First of all, the difference in numbers of players. In those days, you had to have some of your backup players. You only had 40 players, 38 players on a team. So a lot of your backup players had to play other positions. Your backup quarter might have to be a defensive safety. Your offensive and defensive line backup guys had to go both ways because of numbers. In those days, it was pretty much you used the running game to set up the passing game. Right. Now with the increase of the size, today is completely different. There was one 300-pounder back in those days, right. a guy named Roger Brown who played with Detroit. Now they're all 300. I did a high school football game on, on radio the other night. Right, right. Junior in high school, this youngster was six foot four, 340 pounds. But the coaching begins at the Little League. The, they're, they're doing, they know more. Weight training program back in the old days, mm -hmm. you know, it's like guys were sisters that did that kind. Did that kind. Right. There's so much of it, and that's again, one of the reasons you have a few more injuries. Guys are bigger, faster, and stronger. It's an autom two automobiles that are going five miles an hour hitting. They're now going 30 miles an hour hitting. Okay. Well, Coach, uh, specific to today's game. Now, as we speak, Arian Foster is a game time decision. Okay. I think so far this season, it's fair to say that we've seen two different Texas teams. We saw the, the Texas team, the, the first two games, they came out and absolutely destroyed Washington and Oakland. Uh, they created a lot of pressure with their, with their pass rush. They ran the ball very well. They did not turn the ball over. Uh, special teams was a factor in both of those games. And then conversely, last week against the Giants, we saw a team that was disorganized, poor communication, lots of turnovers, couldn't run the ball, couldn't get pressure on the quarterback. What, is, what adjustments from a coaching perspective do you expect to see from Bill O'Brien today? Well, let me, let me start with about the, the business of professional football. First of all, your franchise begins with your quarterback, then the owner, then the general manager, then the personnel people, then the coach. So a coach is only as good as the talent that he had. Right. You have to have a quarterback, and there's about 10 of them. Once you get by those top 10, and you know the 10, my, the Manning, uh, Drew Brees, you know that group, uh, Brady, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you don't have that, you're fighting to be an eight, a 500 football team. So the key is having a good quarterback. Now the other problem that the, the Texans have had, a few years ago they made some mistakes in the salary cap. They had to get rid of some good football players right. and have not quite replaced them with as good. I think Arian Foster will play today. I think they'll probably win today with, with him, but you can't continue running him 30 times a game. Right. So the game, the change of the game is depth in your football team, number of teams, there's a lot more football teams in there now than it was years ago. It's a complete different world than what it was back in those days. Absolutely. So last question for you, Coach. 
Give me a final score today and who's going to win. Oh, oh, man. Final score. I, uh, I'm looking for, I maybe a little bit optimistic, but I think the Texans are going to do well today. I think that uh, the young quarterback, Emmanuel from uh, Buffalo, I think he's going to have problems against the Texan defense. I look for the Texans. Home field here is big. I predicted early in the season this would be one of the, that they would be the first three out of the first four. I think they're going to wind up going to win eight or nine games for the season. So I'm picking the Texans to win today. Score, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 to 17. How's that for something off the top of my head? Okay, all right. Well, Coach, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. And, of course, we look forward to speaking with you more. Uh, you're such a, a significant part of Houston football history. It's been an honor speaking with you. And, again, we look forward to having you know some future dialogue with you. would like to you know, have you on the show as well. Thank you very much. Those of you at home, we're going to go ahead and go into the stadium now. You're watching BTP Sports Talk Live. This is the great sports Morpheus. Bring the pain. <laughs>